scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Now hear me. There are three things we are going to do here very quickly. Fire is about to fall in this place. Please, I want everybody, let your hearts be opened. Don't say you cannot receive, no matter what level and dimension. There is something more. Something more. Ministry without results, there is something more. Power needs to come upon your life. The world is tired of explanations. The Bible does not say they are waiting for the explanations. No more excuses. You need to access power from heaven. Now hear me please. Please hear me. Listen very carefully. Just leave those under the anointing. You don't have to distract them. There is a reason why we ask that they come. However, I want to pray. Remember what I told you. Anyone under the anointing close to you, please. You have a duty to help them so they don't injure themselves. But I need to pray. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Covenant keeping God Yahweh the covenant keeping God You are the covenant keeping God You are the covenant keeping God Yahweh Now, please hear me. Without distraction. For those who are going to be coming out now that I'm going to call, please be mindful of those on the floor so that you do not injure them in a very orderly way. I'm going to make an altar call. There is no point deceiving yourself and lying. There's no point cajoling you. You can know that you are saved and you can know that you are lost based on this description tonight for some of you you have not even started the journey in the custom of our father i'm going to count one to five now listen carefully in running out i repeat be mindful of those in front and use the spaces available you are saying apostle i came for this meeting my heart has been yearning for jesus I just didn't know it was Jesus I was crying for. Or you are here saying, Apostle, I remember making this decision some time back. But as it is, I cannot say that I'm walking in the things of God. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, there's no point pretending. 
I repeat, as you come out, be mindful of these people. I'm going to count one to five. Run like there's fire on the mountain and come to Jesus. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Please make sure you are really coming to Jesus. Two. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Three. Someone is finally winning that war of destiny. Nothing to be ashamed of. Come. Come. Everyone who thirsts, let him come. 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 Jesus. Something special. Supernatural about your name Jesus something happens when I mention your name come come if it is for Jesus I will still give you a few seconds come someday look up please One glorious morning you will wake up like any other day. Perhaps going to lecture for a student. To the market for a, a housewife. Going to your job for a career person. Perhaps going to church for a pastor. A crusade for another pastor. And then there will be a sudden disappearance of people. That glorious morning. When the trumpet will sound, you remember the old song we used to sing? When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Let's sing it one more time. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory. Hallelujah. Till he returns or calls me home Here in the love of Christ I'll stand Even after 30 years Till he returns or calls me home It's here in the love of Christ I'll stand As a man of God as a husband, a wife, a young child, an old woman, a CEO. Till he returns or calls you home. It's here in the love of Christ you stand. Now watch this. For those of you who are in front here, thank you for the bold decision. There are counselors giving you a card counselors leave the card so that they will see please make sure if you are if you are in front and you've not received a card just lift your hand and they will slip one counselors let's do that very quickly they would slip a card to your hand now please i i do not think all of them will be able to complete the card immediately i wish you do but when it's time to pray you may need to pause so you concentrate on the prayer um if you can, it should take maybe less than a minute to legibly fill it with all your details because there will be a follow-up system. 
And then for those who are making this decision by television, internet, or probably you are watching by way of rebroadcast again across the nations of the earth, the US, Europe, and any other state in Nigeria, across Africa, distance is no barrier. Jesus is calling you here at this crusade to the glory and the praise of his name. He's giving you an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. Now, for those of you who are in front, may I request that you lift your right hand high above your head. Remember, the starting point for the believer's life is to make things right with Jesus. Say this after me. Let it be loud and clear. Mean it from your heart and unto Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now. I receive Jesus into my heart as my savior, as my Lord, and as my king. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I declare that I'm born again. I am a child of God. Amen. Keep those beautiful hands lifted as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you with gratitude. For no man comes to you except you draw them. And the Bible says, blessed is the man whom the Lord causes to approach him. You have caused these ones to come. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will no wise cast away. In the name of Jesus and by the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare over you that the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave is broken. Every legal access the devil has over your life by the blood of the eternal covenant is hereby broken. In the name of Jesus. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And I commend you to the ministry of the word. I declare that from tonight you'll be grounded and established in righteousness. You'll go forward ever and backward never. For in Jesus mighty name we pray. Now, while we clap for them, may I request that you all please move to my right, which will be your left from where you are standing. There are counselors who will have a word with you very quickly. Please do comply with them. They will have your details. Just pray with you and you'll quickly join the remaining part of the service. Can we give them a big, big God bless you as they go? Go ahead, celebrate them. Go ahead, celebrate them. Is this the best you can do for them, Portacot? Hallelujah. Now, you are still part of the service. Don't feel left out because you're just moving to the left. Um, let me just take about five minutes if you would spare me that time. I know that our time is fast spent. But may I request that you lend me five minutes just to speak over someone's life. I do not believe that a people will gather unto God this way and go back the same way they came. I do not believe it. The God that I serve is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. My God is a miracle walker. God is, you are a glorious God. God is, he's a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. God is 
a destiny changer. God is a miracle. Hallelujah. I want to quickly pray. We may not have the time, sadly, to take testimonies. I'm not sure. But it's important that I do this. You see, the preaching of the gospel was designed to go hand in glove with the ministry of signs and wonders. Are we together? In John chapter 4 and verse 48, he says, Except ye see miraculous signs and wonders, ye will not believe. So I want to pray. It's going to be an all-encompassing prayer. God is already ministered to people and is still ministering to others. I'm going to pray for the sick, pray for the oppressed, and for those of you who are trusting God for any miracle and any manifestation that becomes a consolation to your Christian experience, here is your chance to receive. I believe in the power of God. I am a beneficiary of the power of God, not just a dispenser of the same. I know what the power of God is able to do. So may I request if you can just stand for a moment and then I pray for you. I want to minister to the sick now. If you are sick in your body, I want you to place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle. And the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. And the honor, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you. We believe in him that he died and rose from the grave. We believe that he's able to heal, he's able to deliver, he's able to bless. I want to pray for you right now. I want you to believe in the healing power of Jesus. In as much as we, for the constraint of time, may not have the opportunity, or perhaps we may just have one or two or three testimonies, and then you can share the remaining at the subsequent sessions. The most important thing is that you experience the healing power of Jesus. Saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Such a strong presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. Saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's such a strong anointing that is touching people right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I don't know why God does these things sometimes, but it's very strange. Watch this now.
I'm about to pray for you. No, 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 no. Please don't, 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 don't do that to the gentleman. Please, someone guide these people. Don't do that. Please take him back. Don't do that. You're going to hurt the gentleman. Please. Don't do that. It's wrong. Please don't do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? Now watch this. I hear a very loud shout in my spirit. When that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. This is what I heard in my spirit. This is the shout. The Bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Shout a loud amen as I begin to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I decree and declare every devil of infirmity in your body, around your life, I command it to give way right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, I decree and declare, be healed now. Eye conditions, be healed now. Deaf ears, I command be open now. Bone conditions, I declare be healed now. Help them please. You don't have to bring them out again, don't worry. You don't have to bring those under the anointing again. That's fine. Just, just manage them where you are. There's someone you could not hear with your, de your left ear. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition here represented, I declare, be cleansed right now. The Lord is showing me at least four ladies. For two of them, you have, I don't know if it's been medically verified, but you have multiple lumps, your left breast, multiple lumps. I'm seeing the power of God touch you. I declare that that devil leaves right now. Now, that devil leaves now. Help her please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer. Again, I say, be healed in Jesus' name. There's someone you have suffered from pile. Pile. Very painful pile. The power of God is touching you right now. I don't know, but the Lord is showing me a woman who is a sister to someone who is here. Seven years, she's not had a child. Seven years. This is what I see in my vision. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, let this be the season of fruitfulness for her. Please help her. Let this be the season of... Help them, please, my God. Look what God is doing there. There's someone who is having... I don't know if he's had palpitations... But I know that it's a cardiovascular disease. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, be healed now. God is showing me one, a gentleman. I don't know if it's that you lost your sense of smell or you cannot smell at all completely. In the name of Jesus, let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. You are having sleep abnormalities. You go to lie down and you barely sleep for 30 minutes and that's it. You are not able to sleep again. The Bible says, but he giveth his beloved sleep. I decree and declare that whatever medical issue that is, it comes to an end right now. Every bone problem, I command be healed now every problem with your joints I command be healed now 
in the name of Jesus. HIV, be healed now. Negative genotypes, change now. There's someone you have a problem swallowing. I don't know what problem you have with your throat. It's, it looks like, you know how you swallow food and it doesn't go completely. It's been like that for a long time. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, you are a bit elderly, maybe in your 50s or thereabouts. You don't seem to be able to stand in the sun for a long time. The moment you stand for a short time, you start having, it's like breathlessness and tiredness, like a nauseating feeling. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare unto you, the power of God is bringing you healing right now. And for some, you may not be sick in terms of bodily problems, but there may be serious problems around your finances, around your family. Let me prophesy upon you. He said, I prophesied I was com as I was commanded and there was a sound. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to receive this prophetic word. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. Every closed door over your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus. Believe it. I speak to that door. Be open now. Help them please. Help them please. Be open now. Ephata, be open now. Embargo of shame and reproach that the devil has placed as a garment over you. I tear that garment off right now. I tear that garment of shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Master, we have toiled all night. There are many of you who have labored and toiled without profit. A grace is about to come on you. I decree and declare, go forth and start excelling. I pray for those who are students. Eli who said in chapter 32 and verse 8 of Job that there is a spirit in man. He says, and the breath, the inspiration of the Almighty is able to make men of understanding. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I pray over your mind and your intelligence. Step into a dimension of God-like intelligence. Retentive capacity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. For everyone who made it for this crusade tonight. I prophesy to you. From January till December. I command laughter. I command laughter. The sound of sadness and mourning. Will be far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm still praying over your life that when men say there is a casting down as for you and for your loved ones let your testimony be that there is a lifting up it says your gates shall be continually open they will not be shut day and night so that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles hear me everyone who has been mandated by God to hold your hand as a destiny helper this year i speak to the north to the south the east and the west i call them to gravitate towards your life hallelujah 
Let me speak to someone as I prepare to wrap up who has gone through negative seasons and it looks like your service to God has not brought profit. I have a prophetic word for you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, in this season, my God, who is also your God, is doing a new thing. My God, who is also your God, is doing a new thing. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for someone who is in the order of Gideon, coming as the least in your family and the least in the tribe. And it looks like nothing good has come out of you. In the name that is above all names, I speak to you by the grace that lifts men from their lowly estate to the place of nobility and honor. May that grace locate you now. Hallelujah. Please make sure you are receiving these prophetic words. They are not empty, believe me. Nathaniel said about Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? It was not his fault. He had seen a track record of great Nazarenes fall, like Samson. Men who would rise and not live long. They did not have longevity of honor and results. I pray for someone. Any pattern you have seen in your family. People dying before their time. Women becoming the men and men becoming the women. All kinds of negative patterns. My Bible says blotting out every handwriting and the ordinances that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross. Be delivered once and for all. Help them please. Be delivered once and for all. Hallelujah. We're wrapping up. And every spiritual force that has constituted itself as an altar impeding the growth and the progress of men let me speak to you lift up your heads oh ye gates over portacot over god's people be ye lifted ancient doors and let the king of glory come in i decree and declare these gates and doors give way to your destiny Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there is anyone here, the spirit of untimely death is roaming around the corridors of your life or for your loved ones, that the devil has vowed that there must be a cry of premature death over your family. I stand in partnership with all the graces here represented and we declare the fullness of your days you must fulfill. The fullness of your days you must fulfill. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me encourage you finally for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. I want to end my teaching tonight by encouraging you that it pays to live for Jesus. There are many distractions in our world today from social media... Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.